Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution. I put out a video already that had kind of my first impressions of this game after playing it for about two hours, kind of trying to learn it and figure out how it works and everything like that. And admittedly, my first impressions were fairly negative. However, I want to give this game a fair shake and see if maybe my impressions change. So we are going to start a new game. We're going to do a proper Let's Play series. You can only have... Uh, well, you, that's not true. You can have more than Hello. one save file, say welcome? Um, My name is Dr. Ian but you have to load it manually. Heard of me? Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. So they do have, uh... The actors from the movies, okay. for a lot of the voice actors. This is no place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. So here we go. This is our first park. This is where we will be starting, and this is kind of the first scenario that you are I'm able Kevin to delve Finch, into. Public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. So it kind of, the first you island sort of serves as a tutorial. You. you should just attach it to the side, but watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Let's put it, like, right about there, I think. Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. So we're building our, uh, our Hammond research facility. We need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. And you connect up a path. That's easy enough. It should already be connected now to the power the grid. Test, incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiol mimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. Let's incubate two of them. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, doctor. You know we've learned so much, and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time, and a next. Indeed. Alright, so we will release these dinosaurs. We get a little cutscene, and it plays every time you release a dinosaur. He's so cute. Begins the most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So well done, I guess. So anyway, that's all good. We have another one of these guys in here. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help so why don't we facility. start with the science division? Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new director of operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that... Let's put it right about... 
Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. There? Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding. There we go. Mark. We'll get that going. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention. And if they don't get it, they tend to take it There we go. Personally. So we've got our expedition center all built up. People think money makes the world go around. But they're wrong. Contracts make the world go around, my friend. Obligations and commitments. Complete a contract and your rep with the science division will increase. Meaning you'll be able to take on cool. more complex and So we want to send out an expedition to get some dinosaur DNA. Uh, let's go here. Start doing that. Good. Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center. So that's all good. Our fossil center is where we research new dinosaurs. So we've got all this different stuff. We can research. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? There we go. Let's see what research we have available. Astruthiomimus. Interesting. Another dinosaur that furthers the case of a direct linkage to our modern birds. There we go. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us. So she wants us to get to 50% research on the Triceratops genome. So, essentially what we do... I knew you were my kind of person. Inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. Indeed. So basically you get these fossils, you research them, and they increase your genome research. Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the There we challenge. go. So we're going to research this Triceratops genome. That will give us more research points for Triceratops. And that'll help us complete the mission. We've also got rain going here. Let's uh, work on some other things as well while we're at it. We want to start getting some income into our park here. I don't suppose... Oh, I can put it right there. Get a little bit of a viewing platform here so that guests can actually go look at the dinosaurs. And we'll just connect that up like, oh, like so. Get that going. And then while we're at it, let's put a ground herbivore feeder like right about there you should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center that will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs and this one doesn't have any dna so we can just sell it for money i need more power so let's build a small power station and i don't suppose we can like fit it in anywhere over here, can we? Nope, that's not happening. Okay, well, what about, like, back here? Hmm. I really don't want to put it there. The space that you have to work with is a little bit constrained. Maybe we can put it, like, right about there yeah we'll just scoot it 
back a little ways, put it like right there. And then we want to connect this thing up to the main power grid like so. There we go. That'll solve our power issue for the time being. And then this thing needs power, so let's put a substation. Like right about here or so. And then we need to connect this guy up as well, so we'll just do it like that. There we go. And that way, it's all connected and set. Okay. And we're not quite there with the Triceratops stuff, so let's look at our expedition map. Try to find one that's just Triceratops. There we go. Send that out, go get some Triceratops fossils. As for research, uh, let's go... Let's upgrade... ACU reload speed, I think. This will be important for dinosaurs that get loose and stuff like that. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, let's see, how are we doing on money? We're doing fine. So that's all good. Let's go... guests and we probably want to get some sort of like restaurant so maybe we'll put that like right about here some sort of food and then we should also have a gift shop or something as well so let's just go actually let's go with a clothes a clothing shop instead of a gift shop and we'll put that like right here that's going to need power as well though so we'll build another substation right about there. And then just connect it up like so. Okay. That's all good. Food place is still being built. How's our research doing? All done. Okay. So next... Let's maybe go... Let's get electric fences. For when we have carnivores, I think that'll be important. And then we're going to also need... An ACU center for helicopter stuff. And a ranger station as well. And I'm thinking... Let's zoom out. Okay, this kind of goes back there. Let's put this guy... I wish you could, like, snap it to the paths always, but it's it's kind of weird. It seems like it only works with certain buildings. It'll only snap if it feels like it. I don't know why. But let's maybe put this guy, like, right about there. And then we also want a... Ranger station, but I can't afford... Board it. Okay. That's fine. Let's just bring this path straight over like so. Okay. So far, so good. We're down to 300,000, which is not exactly ideal. We do have some Triceratops stuff, though. So we'll research that. Get us up to 3,000... Or get us up to 50% Triceratops genome so we can complete the missions. Completing these missions... Uh, gives you a pretty significant amount of money. And let's look at our fast food here. Let's manage this stuff a little bit. Let's increase our cost of dino bites up to like... Eh, $20 is a bit much. Let's go up to like... 8 we are making great strides so far. Or maybe we'll go I may be on the dish something wondrous and I have you to thank. And bring that up to find myself. Now we 15? need to incubate, hatch and house our dinosaurs. 12. Let's go then 12. We'll know if our efforts will have been sure. worth it. Doubling our money. And then we also put in a clothing shop over here. We'll sell a hat for like I'm thinking like 15 for the hats. 
Get a little bit of income. So now we need to incubate a Triceratops. And let that guy go. We do have some guests coming into the park. That's good. Uh, I also think I want to go no forest. And let's just get rid of a handful of these trees. Some of these. Just get them out of the way. Help us be able to see and also give us a little bit more room for buildings and all that kind of stuff. Because there's no, as far as I know, there's no, like, um, the beauty of your park sort of thing. If we look at our island rating, safety, capacity, satisfaction. Satisfaction is really just, uh, yes, I, I understand. I'm Claire Deering, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe... So basically, uh, satisfaction by guests is just based on, is there enough food and drink? Is there enough stuff to do? Etc, etc. An offer just came our way. Don't we will take that. Good. Poor variety, that's fine. We'll get there. Let's go view expedition map. Go get me... Sixty thousand. Yeah, let's go do that one. That guy's still going. Research wise, I don't think I have. Do we need money for this? Yeah, all this stuff requires money as well. So we're going to have to hold off on that for the moment. But we now have electrified fences available. There we go. Triceratops is all done. We'll just let him come out. Looking real majestic. Hello, Triceratops. Look at that. Very cool. All right. Our new specimens... Sorry, dinosaurs are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans. Indeed. So That's all right. Our viewing station can see the dinosaurs. I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest. And I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have. All right, so we still need a ranger station. With her later. We can't afford it. We need to get a Triceratops up to 70%. And then we also need to research uh, medicine stuff. So if we look at this. That's going to be 125,000. Looks like we are finally getting some guests in the park, though. So that's good. How much are we pulling in from our fast food here? Making about 125. That's not horrendous. We're going to need more buildings for that purpose sooner or later. Um, let's go with our expedition center here. Oh, that's right. They're still going. As soon as this is done, that should complete a contract for us. The expedition for a smaller medium herbivore fossil. There we go. And now we have our fossils. We're going to hold off on actually researching these, I think. That was some and then there's this database here that has uh, essentially like a codec of all this different else. stuff. Science and learn about them. It's kind of cool. Admittedly, sometimes both, but on Isla Matanceros. Let's look at contracts. Us and yourself. What can I do? Let's go. That's worth a reward. Entertainment. Hey, I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment. That'll get us a little bit of money. What is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. 
Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue. All right, let's research the hookworm parasite medicine. Since we need to do that for a quest. Achieving an island rating is going to be really hard without a lot more income. So we may want to go back to contracts. You have to, there's like a cooldown. Whenever you do a contract, you have to wait a little bit until you can request a new one. And the new one would like replace the old one. There we go. That research is done. I'm waiting on that. I wish there was a button to speed up our process a little bit here, but there isn't. So we're going to have to kind of make do without. How are you doing? Making some money. Money is good. Okay. Um, maybe what we can do instead is make just like a little gift shop. Looks like we can squeeze it in right there. We'll get that going. And that'll help us bring in a little bit more income as well for the guests. But the ranger station is going to be the most important thing. So let's go back to contracts. It still says less than one minute. Okay. Still waiting on that. That's fine. Gift shop is still being constructed, but it's getting there. How are we doing overall on guests? It's like... Everything's good. Could use a little bit more food, but the facilities are fine for the time being. Let's sell lunch boxes for $15 each. That'll bring us a little bit more revenue every so often. And what have I got for fossils? Eh, I got a bit. Okay. I think the ranger station is the next thing. Profit per minute, 30,000. So it's not a ton, but it's something. So it's going to take us a little while to get up to where we want to be. I think it might be worth it to basically hold out until we can get the ranger station. Let's take a look at contracts here. I want a new contract. I don't want to do the one that's uh, just... There we go. Yes. That one we're going to have to decline. I've got something for you, if you're interested. <laughs> I'm looking for something that I can actually do. <laughs> and if we look, let's look at missions here. So we've got this mission. We can cancel this one entirely, but then we would basically have to start it all over. So I think what we need to do is basically finish this and then work on the others. So we'll just kind of see here. How are we doing on money? 150,000. All right, let's. We need to get a Triceratops up to 70%. So let's send an expedition out for some Triceratops fossils. And we don't have a ton of attractions right now. We're going to want to make another pen as well sometime, probably in the fairly near future. Um, and I don't think I can squeeze a road back here, or a path, to go look at some of this stuff. That's fine. How much is this ranger station? 400,000. Okay. And contracts? Anything new? Nope. Increase your island rating to 2.5 stars. Easier said than done. When you have essentially no money. 
And this is the whole thing. This is one of my major gripes with the game, is there's no way to speed up the time. So we're just sitting here waiting, essentially, for money to come in, and there's not really a whole lot that I can do until I have more money. So it's kind of a matter of completing missions to get money, and then once you've completed the missions to get money, <laughs> you know, it goes on and on and on. Maybe it was poor money management at the beginning, but I don't know. What other guest stuff do I have that I could make? Nah, nothing I really need. Enclosures, we will want to make additional uh, enclosures for sure. Let's look at our fossils. We've got Edmentosaurus genome. Let's do one of these. It's 20 grand, but it'll get us above 50% for the Edmentosaurus, which is going to be important eventually. Looks like we've got more fossils finally. And you know what the other thing we could do? is let's go to building upgrades. And there's one here that lowers the maintenance cost. Let's do that guy as well. That'll basically save us some uh, some money on our power. Because right now we're spending um, a fair amount. Income. This is all, here we go, expenses. So we're spending about 20,000 on pylons right now. Okay. Build, connect, and power a hotel. You help with this. And you should. Well, the hotel's very expensive, but... That is something we're going to want. More buildings Here we go. We can sell that for 120000 That's go pretty good. It. And then let's research the Triceratops one. And the other Triceratops one. And then we can sell that one for another 120000 Okay, so that actually worked out super well. We got very lucky there. Let's send out another expedition. Uh, and let's go for... What's over here? Ceratosaurus? Hmm. Let's see where we're at before I send out another expedition. Let's see where we're at as far as uh, our Triceratops genome stuff. We're at 52%. This one's going to add... There we go. And then these ones are the really big ones that give you a pretty significant boost. I don't know exactly how much it is. But it's a fairly decent amount. I mean, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely, but we're getting there. Looking at contracts, uh, let's look at new, request a new contract. Um, give me a, give me another entertainment contract. A successful expedition to the Ziluijing. I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. That's an easy one, though. We can totally do that. You find anything interesting? I want to know. So, if you don't tell we me, just need to I'll find anyway. the one with the funny sure. name. <laughs> Maybe. The right oh, tell me that it's not one of the ones that's locked. Because that would be real unfortunate. Morrison. That sounds like... Oh, here we go. It's way over here. Yeah, so we'll do that. We'll send an expedition. It's going to cost us 105000 but we're going to get 125000 back. So essentially, it's like a free expedition, and it could get us some other good stuff as well. So where are we at for... Let's take a look at and see where we're at here for Triceratops. We're at 67%. So we're not quite at 70, but we're getting very, very close. We still need to build our ranger station. 
There we go. Power upgrades complete. That saves us a little bit of money every month or every cycle or whatever. Let's look at research again. Um, 300,000, 75,000. What about building upgrades? Success rates. 100,000 for that. Let's save our money for the time being. And we'll just kind of let this stuff go. And the contracts, uh, apparently, I don't know how many contracts you can have at a time. But, okay, oh, three. Okay, so you can have three at a time. So contract limit. But missions, if you replace one mission with the other, then essentially it's going to mess things up then you'll you'll be starting one of those missions over but i think this is a good place to end off the first episode because i am out of time for this one guys if you enjoyed the video you know what to do links in the description below so check that out as well otherwise my friends thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one